everyone i think that we're making this video at this time and this speed so forgive me for how short this video is on monday when i was working on another video i happened to check youtube and on the playstation channel they had a video about visions of mana as i was watching the video they mentioned they dropped a demo for it at that point i had to drop everything and download it not to mention i forgot items for dinner so i had time to kill i checked out the demo to see if i would pick up this game at lunch and after hours of playing the demo I can say I loved it. Combat is one word, fluid. Jumping in and out of battle is so easy. Being able to jump into a fight and wonder if things get too difficult for you in a heartbeat. Switching between the demo characters feel like I start doing combo moves between them effortlessly. The armor system seems interesting. Each character can win a single element, which changes the class and class's special move. Each character's class has a kind of magical girl transformation for each element you grab. Looking through the game, each class has its own weapons, which means I might have to save some money to keep up with changes in the classes. One of the cool things about the game is that each class you unlock comes with its own set of abilities. You can unlock these abilities using elemental points or goat clovers. The best part is that you don't need to be in a specific class to gain its abilities. This allows for a massive amount of customization for each character. While the weapons are different for each class, the armor is the same. Additionally, any ability you unlock can be used by any class. I believe that no two people will have the same build, given the variety of classes and abilities available, and the different team members. The exploration in this game is amazing. The open world is full of items and challenges to offer great rewards. I enjoy having the time to explore, especially since I love open world games for that reason alone. I also appreciate the banter between the characters, which adds personality and prevents the adventure from getting boring. Wiring the Puku Loop feels similar to Wiring Toy and Elevate. It's fast and fun to run over enemies. The only downside is that the damage from the Puku Loop seems to be only temporary and not useful to start of a battle, but still adds a fun element to the exploration. In conclusion, Vision of Mana's demo has left me thoroughly impressed and excited for the full release. For its fluid combat system and its expensive open world, this game promises a rich and engaging experience for JRPG gamers. The character's banters and the depth of the compensation options at layers of enjoyment and replayability. The ranking class and element systems offer unique twists, allowing players to tailor their characters to the play style. The open world exploration and the challenges within keep the gameplay fresh and exciting. I'm definitely looking forward to exploring more of what this game has to offer when it launches. If you're a fan of action pack combat and intrigued world building, Vision Man Out might just be the next great gaming venture you've been waiting for. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more JRPG content. See you in the next video. Before I go, let me know in the comments if you tried the demo and what your thoughts are. Do you have your favorite character or element already? Are you excited as I am for the full release? Your feedback and discussions always add so much value to the community.